I want to do a updated wait I think I started talking before the recording started okay I'm not gonna edit it out I have to hurry up and do this while I'm on my lunch break um so thank you for joining me back at my channel that fat chick um I told you I wanted to come back to um do a update on um about the weight loss surgery that's um today my appointment was the first weight management appointment I spoke to the surgeon today um at Montefiore Hospital. So let me just start with the stats. Um, I had RMY surgery back in 2015. Um, my start weight was 262. My goal weight was 145, which I reached that really quickly. Um, and my lowest weight was 133. So I had gastric bypass surgery at Montefiore Hospital in um, the Bronx, New York with Dr. Venapelli V, but they call her Dr. V. So, um, let us let me just hurry up because it's like, it'd be time for me to go back on the floor. Um, so I spoke to the surgeon today. The, the conversation and the, and the, the conversation and response that he gave me back was, I'm still going to keep it popping. I'm still going to go ahead and do what I have to do. I'm not going to let anyone discourage me. Um, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Um, so basically what he told me was that he was, he asked me, um, I, I told him that I um, had surgery, which I'm sure about that time he had looked at my files. And so he was like, I was looking to have a revision. He said that they, they normally don't, he does revisions, but he really doesn't do revisions um, with arm Y surgery. Um, he said that because I'm probably only going to lose between, which that doesn't make any damn sense. You're going to have the arm Y surgery, but he's saying that you're probably only going to lose like between 30 to 50 pounds with the revision. I don't believe that. Not one bit. I, to me, the, the, the way that I got it, I, I, the, what he was saying to me, he kind of made it seem like he, he couldn't tell me no he didn't that he wasn't going to do it or no that he didn't want to do it but for me it sounded like he was like well I don't understand why you're getting it done if you're looking to lose 30 between 30 to 50 pounds which he says that's what I'm basically gonna lose I mean but I, I, I like I'm 197 now even if I there's no way I'm going to lose 100 pounds. I already know that. You know what I mean? But between, even if I lose 60 pounds, 70 pounds, I will be happy. You know what I mean? Just to be able just to to, to um start all over again. And I'm still like still dealing with stomach problems. He said it sounds like I have a high her hernia, high hair, her what the fuck was the word he said? It wasn't a hernia. Was it a hernia? And he said that you, may, you mainly could fix that through surgery. Um, it's in my brain, but it seems like I can't get aida hernia, whatever the fuck he said. Um, so he said that he would then, then um, I have to call tomorrow to schedule for my second weight management. My doctor gave me the referral for um, the gastrologist already so I'm just going to call and make an appointment for that um so now I'm, I'm working on my second visit um weight management so he just gave me 20 pounds to lose before the surgery the surgery will be between three to six months six months the most so um it's time for me to start like really changing the way I eat and stuff I know that I've slacked off a lot Especially with the um, pandemic and the COVID and then me getting really, really sick. And so I know I need to reset my body all over again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, really start detoxing this stuff. Cutting back on like the um, carbs and stuff like the, um, the bread and the rice. And then I started ordering out and stuff um, a lot. Um... And I'm back at work too, so that'll cut down on most of the eating and stuff like that. But I do. I, I need to really, I mean, 30 to, 
30 to 50 pounds to me seems like a lot of weight to lose. It really does. And it sounds like a lot of weight loss. I mean, if I can lose between 30 to 60 pounds, I'm cool. It, it just, I, I don't think that he sees a purpose of it. Because he's like, well, I'll give you 20 pounds to lose. And if you can lose 20 pounds, then you'll let us know that, you know, you'll stick to a regimen. This is not like the first time I have, like, I've had R&Y surgery before. I've been through this. So, I don't know. He was kind of pissing me off a little bit. And I was, in my whole mind, I was just like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care about people like, oh my God, you can do it. No, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get it done. Any type of surgeries that I need to have done, I'm going to start doing them now. Um, anyway, I have to go because our contracts for our medical coverage is up next year, October. And the way that this CEO here is, honey... Y'all need to look it up because I had just seen a video with this, this, this. She was even coming so fly out her mouth. The news picked it up, honey. Okay. Um, so I need to hurry up. Because the way the unions are going, the way these people are talking in here. I'm going to get my teeth done. I'm going to have my weight loss surgery. I'm going to get my stomach fixed. Anything that I need to have done, I'm going to get it done. Anything that my, my daughter needs to get done, I'm going to get it done before we want. Because the way that they're doing it, they want us to pay for our own medical coverage now. Okay? Own medical. They want to gut the doggone unions. Okay? And the only time the unions contact us is when it's time to elect someone on the board. Other than that, we don't hear shit from the motherfucking unions or any of our leaders to do any goddamn thing. Okay? But they still getting them bonuses though. Okay. So. Muffins. We're going to keep it pushing with this surgery. I'm going to do everything I can to change the way I'm eating. Start exercising. Do whatever I have to do. I'm going to lose this 20 pounds. And you're going to give me this surgery. Bottom line. So. Um, the I, I mean like. I just. I just want to have everything get the appointments. And my third weight management so this is um so i'm wondering do you have to do a weight management every month i'm not quite sure so i'm gonna schedule my um no the third weight management that i have they'll give me a list of the um tests that need to be done but if i could get it all done now i don't have to if the majority of the, t the the list of tests that they give me, I've already got them done. That'll knock off some more stuff off of the list, and then I can get the surgery done. I'm looking to have the surgery hopefully by January or February. My va I still have four weeks of vacation, so I want to kind of schedule it around it. If it could be at the beginning of the month, I mean the beginning of the year, um, three, you know. Um, then I can do it because then my vacation time rolls back over again, but I have not used any of my vacation time this year. So I still have four weeks. So, well, let me go. Um, it's nine. Well, I still got my 15 minutes added on, but it's nine o'clock now. Oh Lord. Look, everybody know where the hell I work at. Everybody know my name already. So whatever. All right, my friends. So let me go. Um, I'm just hoping that this, this everything will just work out. Um, I know I'm having a lot of problems with my stomach. Like I can hear like the gas in my stomach. Um, there, the ulcer is making more gas, more air going to my stomach too. Um, I, I, well, I, I believe I've had COVID twice already, but this weekend. I know one of the signs of it, of having it, or I don't know whether it's a stomach virus or it's just, I, c I could not have been having dumping for three damn days. Th that doesn't make any sense. But I don't know if I have a stomach virus or I have no idea. But I wasn't feeling good the weekend. All right, my friends. So um, let me go back to work. I got... 9, 10, 11. I got like two more hours to go. I'm going to get out of here. And I'm not off until Friday. And I got to work the weekend. I hate working the weekends. I'm trying to go to a floor, find a position to where they're going to be doing 12-hour shifts. Um, all right, let me.
Mikael.